Hello and welcome back to another 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. I'm going to Belgium again. Lots and lots of Belgian beers. So many to do. This one is not quite as strong as the rest though, which is great. Uh, first brewed in 1993. It's only 5.5%. So this one's a nice easy going one, hopefully. Uh, and it is Petrus. It's in the book. This is interesting. It's Petrus Oud Bruin. But this one says Petrus Rood Bruin. It is the same beer, I'm assured. But they've slightly changed the name. But it's just, you know, this is 5.5%. It's the dark ale, old brown, essentially what it means. So... Uh, and they've just changed the branding slightly, which is absolutely fine. Um, exactly the same thing. So uh, they've updated the, the design so it looks much more modern. It uses this kind of newer kind of uh, design and fontage. Uh, fontage? That's not a word. Fonts. Um, it says Petrus Rude Bruin is a blend of 33% uh, Petrus Aged Pale pure fooder beer that's been aged for two years in oak fooders a 67% young brown beer in this blend the young dark beer contributes a reddish brown colour and the aged pale contributes a slightly sour flavour it's a typical Flemish red ale as tradition dictates um, and it says exactly the same thing in the book basically about this one about how it's, it's got the aged pale mixed with the young brown ale it's absolutely fine so I don't know that's Let's take this open. No messing about. No further ado. I've got a nice glass from Siren Craft here. That's Session and Sour's glass. Uh, I've no idea this is bottle conditioned. I'm going to guess it is, as this is Belgian. Let's see what I can see in the glass as it pours out. I'm not seeing anything in the bottom of the glass. I'm go, yeah, the whole lot. There's nothing in there. No, no gunk at all. Right. Oh, it smells slightly sour. I like that. Right. So, let just sit there for a minute. It's um. See if there's anything interesting to talk about. There's a whole section here that just talks about the general region, which is not you know that exciting. Um. There really isn't anything really interesting here to talk about the beer. It's all just a story about the region. Uh, I'll talk about the taste notes from here. Petrus Oud Bruin, or Rude Bruin, pours with a dark ruby red colour. Yes. And sits in the glass beneath rocky tannish foam. Yes. Aroma is dark fruits, oak and sweet and sour notes. Let's go for the smell. Certainly get the dark fruits. Uh, I wouldn't get any oak. Do get slightly sour notes off that though. It says the taste is mildly sour, some sweetness, a medium mouthfeel, and good malt character. Notes of oak and sour cherries are present. I'm hoping this is going to be, be like, a bit like Rodenbach Grand Cru, which is um, like a mini version of, of Duchesse de Bouillon or Bourgogne. I don't know how to pronounce it. So without further ado, cheers. Oh, it is, yeah, it's ever so slightly sour, just. Just a hint of sourness in there. Um, but other than that, it's kind of like a slightly sour brown ale, which sounds weird and like it wouldn't be good, but it is. this is a Flemish style. It's very nice. Kind of fruity. It's got this kind of fruity, very clean mouthfeel feel to it. Um, the sour cherries, I'd say this is based like a brown beer with sour cherries. It's a really nice, really nice combination of flavours in here. And unlike other Belgian beers, I'd say it's only 5.5%. It's really easy going because there's almost no booze compared to other Belgian beers. Super easy to drink. Um, and it's holding up and the head is not disappearing, but it's just really, really nice to drink. Um, I've never had this one before, I should point out. I've never even heard of this one before. I've never heard of Petra. So I don't wonder if it says what region it's from. So it talks about the region a bit. It says... So it's from West Flanders. Um, so it's the Flemish area of Belgium. Um, it says the brewery itself made Bavic Pils. Um, this is one of their Petrus, is one of their brands. There's a lot of information here that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so they, they're sometimes called Old Dark for export purposes, but clearly. This one has been exported with English on the back without calling it Old Dark, but that's absolutely fine. Classic Flemish Old Brown Ale, part young, part wood-aged ale. 
It works really well. I don't think I have anything to say on it. It's a dark cherry, slightly sour, brownie beer, uh, Flemish ale. Um, really nice. Definitely have it again. Um, if I was looking for a Belgian beer that wasn't going to blow my socks off and I saw it in the fridge, I'd definitely have this. Uh, it's really quite tasty. So I'm going to go away and drink the rest of this because it would not be hard to drink. It's quite pleasant. So I will... Oh, I just saw that there. I just saw about the percentage, different types of beer in there. I'm going to leave you, leave you with that bottle right there. And I'm going to say like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you for another beer review soon.